he go to his TV. <laughs> um, click the button below, like, comment, comment and subscribe. <laughs>
cameras a little it's, it's not even that big bro like you can take it anywhere with you and it even has a um a flip up screen a lot of y'all can use a flip up screen so you can watch yourself when you record you know it's just like looking in the mirror while you're shooting a video just to make sure everything's 100 percent how you want it these are all the dials on the camera right here this you can set the different modes like right now i have mine in manual you got aperture priority shutter priority program program auto scene i mean manual it's a lot of them but it's a lot of stuff like i told you i haven't even figured out but this camera here this is a bad boy bro this is a bad boy but look y'all look let's get right into some of the specifications about it see how it already looks when it come on all right so let me show you where should I start? Okay, look, I'm, I'm gonna go to my uh, settings for y'all. Cause I know a lot of y'all, y'all um, y'all actually need the settings. Y'all already had a camera, but y'all gonna need the settings. Let me go to them right quick. Let me pull up these settings right quick. Whoops, it fell. Let's get started with these say. Okay, so right here, have image quality. Have my image quality set for this right here. Have it on raw plus L. Still image expect ratio. You want it at 16.9 so you can get full frames. Okay, I don't I don't mess with all that. I'm like I told y'all, I don't mess with all that. Touch shutter, that is disabled. Face ID settings, you have that on. Set button, that button right there is just to determine like what, it's like a, it's like a recording function. It's like a weird recording function. Say ring function, that, that's when you want, you want like, a, it's like a shortcut. That right there, that's when you want to set, you set that if you want to mess with your aperture or your shutter priority. Digital zoom off. Autofocus operation, one shot. Autofocus method, face plus tracking. Continuous autofocus, always on. You don't want your camera to ever fall out of focus. Um, autofocus plus manual focus, on. Autofocus assist beam, on. Manual focus point zoom, you want that on 10 times. Like this right here is important, bro. All these, all these are important, so make sure you have it at that. Cause you, without focus, your your, your video will be kind of blurry. You know, you don't want blurry, choppy videos. Make your focus peak settings. Turn peaking. I ain't mess with all that either. All right, so setting. You want that on continuous. You don't want no shoot only. You want it on continuous. The dynamic, like the shake. I mean, mine don't shake a lot, so I usually put mine. I leave mine on standard. Cause like a tripod will help balance it for you. Bracketing off. I'm sorry, I click off of that. ISO speed. This is right here is when you could just like it's like helping like how much light, how much light you want hitting the camera and all that. I usually have mine at high ISO speeds when I'm in the house, but on my side, I turn it off or turn on the ND fields because you don't want too much light, too much light to tone you out of it. Highlight tone priority, I have that off. Auto light and optimizer, I have that off. Medium mode. I have that. What do I have meter mode at? Oh, yeah, it's like a wide meter mode. ND filter is off. Listen, this right here is key. You have this off while you are in, uh, have this off while you are in indoor shooting, but outdoor shooting, you're supposed to turn it on if you have too much light in there because they'll balance out some of the light. Flashes, I don't mess with that. White balance, auto white balance. What? White balance correction, zero, zero. I don't miss none of that either. That's like stock when I got the camera. Picture style, fine detail. I don't know why. A lot of people shoot neutral where you can edit your own colors and all that. Neutral is, probably, neutral is good when you want to edit your colors yourself. See what I'm saying? Like good for image editing. I actually prefer fine detail, me personally. I would use fine detail. I never mess with that right there. Self timer, I don't mess with that. Movie record style, okay, this is important too. 
when you have uh, um when you get in your memory card make sure you get a decent size memory card i'm not i mean like physical size i mean like the capacity of the memory card and like what type it is because the more expensive memory cards give you better quality and you can store more footage on them like if you get a, a low budget a low budget uh memory card you probably won't be able to shoot in these high things right here these are the main two shoot what well, the main three shooting priorities right here full hd 23 frames 29 frames 23 frames is like cinematic quality and 29 this like cinematic too this right here is like it's like a it's like a faster quality where you if you want to slow down the footage or something like that when you edit i shoot on this right here though because i don't shoot films when filter that's auto you got to have that on attenuated i'm not sure what that is auto show shutter i have auto show slutter on you know the rest of this is just it's just normal camera set but uh i, I didn't even mean to take that picture y'all i'm going to insert some test footage for y'all in all right y'all this is the test footage for y'all see how clear my skin look this is what i got that fine detail for so my hair twisted today y'all know y'all know everything in the background is pretty see how it's focusing on my face and things like that my hand over and let me move and see if it focus fast. Yeah, see that? So I just want to have that continuous auto focus on. Just look at let me get up and move back for y'all. Let me get up and move back. Y'all see how it how you more light in here? <sighs> focus. It's some that's one setback of this camera. Sometimes it has a focusing problem when you when you do too much movement. But look y'all, like this camera is just lit. This is where it's at. But look, I hope y'all enjoyed the review, bro. If y'all want to see like test footage from like outside or something like that, y'all can just watch the previous videos. It does great outside too. And it actually does pretty good at night too. Because of my, my video before that, no, the Trampoline Park video. That video right there showed how it, um, uh, show how it operated at night. Because the second clip I believe I have on there show how I operated at night. It was still pretty clear. You still can see me pretty clear. Even though I'm a little chocolatey dude, you still can see me pretty clear. But uh, yes, if you have the money, bro, I suggest you invest in this camera, bro. This camera is just nice. It's where it's at, bro. Make sure you get a great memory card too. If you have any more questions about the camera specs or anything like that, feel free to hit me up. I'm not a camera genius. I'm not a camera guru. I, I learn from watching YouTube videos and talking to other people and technicians and things like that. So all my information is is more so it's it's a collection from people I've talked to, people I know actively use this. But look, y'all, I want to tell y'all, thank y'all for staying tuned. I pray I help one y'all find a perfect camera for the stars of YouTube or for the continuing YouTube, whichever one you're doing. With that being said, hope y'all have a blessed night, boy.